Mega Mechatronics. Okay, let's go over here and uh, we'll take a look at the ignition switch. Um, this is something she really made a point of getting the key in and it was a fake key just sticking in this hole. Didn't really do anything so I wanted to add some actual functionality so you're gonna have to turn that on and that'll fire this up and I did maintain the original equipment system here with the uh, lights and sirens So you could turn that off, and if that is on, that'll also lose power if you turn that key off. So you could keep that on and, and maintain that sound. And uh, so here we go. We got our power steering. Very, very simple. And it's still we still got to do an alignment on there. Um, but this is uh, simply... Uh, potentiometer controlled here we can get under here and take a look at this system along with the servo so you see as I turn the steering wheel the servo moves and I did add some hard stops on there so the kids can uh, if they feel the need to start banging the steering wheel it's not gonna break anything Okay, and now I do have this uh, set up on a block. So I added a um, little piece of code in there to, for a smooth start. So right now it is set on a slow speed, but I, I will mash the pedal down. And you hear it slowly getting started. And then to reverse it, instead of using this awkward handle it's extremely hard to move it's unbelievable um, I just added this switch so now we're going reverse and another feature is uh, in the code is if if uh, let's say she's holding full throttle and hits that reverse switch it'll shut down the motor and allow those um, the H bridge to to change over without uh, short-circuiting the batteries, which is, is one downside of the H-bridge. But if you can put a delays in the code, um, it will mitigate any of those problems. So we got our uh, variable speed system, and this is an actual variable throttle. But the speed is set so low, so let's, let's go inside here and change the speed settings. We will pull the seat off and look inside here. So this is uh, charged right here, 24 volt charger, and we got our little speed select system here. So we'll click it over to the next speed setting. And again, we can switch over to reverse. Switch back. And there is that smooth start setting and that's stuff that we can tweak in the future. And uh, so that's basically all she wrote. We can get into, uh, we'll check out some all right, code. So I got a permanent USB cable hooked to that Arduino control unit, which is inside here, um, up to my laptop. We'll go into the COM the monitor and check out what's going on here. We'll open this up so we can see we got um, the throttle, the raw input, um, the steering input, and what we're going out. So you see throttle out, I did start it a little, but here I'll, I'll slowly hit the throttle. And you can see the speed select settings, position A and B. So one is true, B is false, A, A is true, B is false. 
A is false, B is true. They're both true, or they're both false. Uh, so we can get our four uh, speed settings there. Our reverse switch, you can see there's that delay, go to one, true, and there's a delay, go to zero. And I can adjust all that system. And now we can play with the steering wheel. So you see um, steering raw, 680, steering out. So I turn one way and it is inverted. I turn the other way. And um, I, I can tweak all of that. Um, so we can move into the code here. And we will shut her down. And you can see the different raw inputs here. Map the throttle. You can see um, I used a max speed variable there uh, that sets the max speed. My throttle map is where I calibrate. There we go. If the throttle map is greater than or equal to max speed, then it's set to that max speed. Of course, if it's under it, it is the throttle map variable. And uh, so here's that stepper algorithm. It, it uh, increases by increments of 5 until it reaches... So I'm commanding, let's say, the number 100. It's going to keep counting up from 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, however long that loop takes to get up to speed. Here's our steering map. Again, we use that to calibrate uh, to do our quote-unquote alignment. Here's some of the re reverse switch delays. I had to use a reverse toggle because there is a startup system. And hey, that brings in mind I need to start it up in reverse and see what happens. Uh, so I am tweaking some of the code. You can see there's a delay of 800 milliseconds and then 500 milliseconds after it switches over. And then here is our output. And that's basically it. Our power axle smart power wheels vehicle. Okay, let's take a peek under here and look at the battery setup tilt her up on its side and you can see I did mount the batteries on the outside there are some welded tabs on there some uh, 400 pound uh, stainless steel straps you can see the umbilical cord coming across and some wiring systems and then the rats nest inside here which, uh, that's all you can see.